Mirror, mirror on the wall, I'm so appalled. That person you show, mirror, that's not me. My hand waves to and fro, their movements copying my own with a ghostly tempo. My eyes, my grimace, my hair, one and the same, our looks compare. But that's not me. It never has been, no matter what they tell me. With hope, though, one day it will be. I promise, Mirror, one day it will be. It's difficult, living in a world that largely doesn't accept people for being who they are. It can make you want to hide away parts of yourself. But doing that means you can never learn about your identity, rights, and history, never meet new people like you, and never grow as a person. When you overcome your fear of rejection from others, a whole new part of the world opens up to you. I met my best friend because we both came out to each other as gay at the same time, and we figured out what that meant together, side by side. I had new experiences and bonded with new people over shared history. And yes, I lost a few people along the way, but they weren't the kinds of people that were good to keep in my life anyway. I know it seems scary, and it is, but it's so worth it to accept yourself for who you are and share it with the world. There are more people exactly like you out there than you know. When someone calls me a chi, it's like a punch to the gut. Not physically at least, but I still feel the metaphorical blow. But when I come face to face with the two bathrooms, I find myself stuck. Two bathrooms. Both of them are testing my luck. Even though being a boy feels better and it feels right, I still can't help but wonder what it would be like to be a boy who could wear tresses without being judged. A world where gender doesn't define who you are as a person or the clothes you wear, more as an individual. A world where women are treated equally as men the other genders and races taking them hand by hand, hopeful little communities where minorities wouldn't be considered minorities. They'd become more normalities. It might be just a silly dream though, a reality that doesn't exist. But it doesn't matter how long it takes. It could be a hundred, two hundred, or even three hundred years. We won't give up just because a select few of people said so. And maybe, just maybe, when we see our grandchildren or the ne newest generation when we're older. Maybe they'll have a better chance to be themselves than we did. And that gift would be amazing. But until then, we keep going, we keep living, we keep loving, we keep fighting for the world that we want. Our world.